<clears throat> yeah, Brewtube, we're back again. Um, fresh off the back of yesterday, uh, picking, um, doing a collar, did I do the collar video yesterday? I did the insulating the collar video yesterday, I'm published it actually. Um, forage for rose hips and did the introduction uh, to how to make rose wine yesterday. I was absolutely knackered this morning, so I, I, d I decided to take a day off. Um, I was at the kids and whatnot this morning. Um, and now I've got all afternoon spur, but you know, idle hands are the devil's plaything, so they say. So it's time to start looking at getting uh, the wooden collar onto the chest freezer. So I think it should be fairly straightforward. What I'm going to do, I suppose, kneel down, it's easier, isn't it? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew. The lid. I'm going to line that up on top of the collar and screw the lid back onto the collar before I put the collar in the lid. Uh, before I, you know, I glue the collar and the lid back to the body of the chest freezer. Um, you know the the because the collar is so tall. Um, you know. The hinge is going to screw all, you know, it's, it's, it's only going to be on the collar, so I don't really need to worry about, you know, line, lining it back up with any holes that are on the body of the chest freezer at the back. Um, so, time to take off the hinges first. I can't remember if I mentioned, I don't think I did. Uh, the model, if anyone is interested and wants to kind of <laughs> follow the same thing as what I'm doing, is, um, it's, like I say, it's a Ship It Appliances, so SIA. Uh, the model is CHE. Uh, two zero zero BL. So you know what you're getting then, don't you? Can you see me do it? You want to follow suit? Then then great. So I'm going to stand back up now, so you can just see my crotch. So yeah, it should be pretty easy. Take the car off. Plastic covers. Put down. Should be easy in theory. Get off. There you go. So, four screws in the lid. One, two screws, and another two screws at the bottom of the hinge. So, you need to hold on to this very tight, I believe, uh, from from watching other videos. But I can also see there's a big giant spring in here, so it's going to twat me in the face if I don't hold on to it. So, uh, I've not got someone else to help me, but I've got an extra pair of hands. Well. Got another hand, I've got an extra pair of hands, I've not got an extra pair of hands, uh, but the left hand should hopefully um, be sufficient, so let's give it a go. Bloody hell. Okay, I'll probably use them uh, for when I'm putting it back onto the collar. They're not flathead, so they should they should bite back into the wood fairly easily. making this look really difficult. My hands are sweaty. <laughs> so the screwdriver keeps slipping. I'm just opening the window in here, it's boiling. This is the man cave by the way, so you've got a different angle to there, unless you can see the dirt board. Never get a chance to use it. I'm gonna do that shit like this instead. Moment of truth, is it gonna kill me? Uppercut me? Hold on to it tight. No, so once it's down, it's actually it's in place. 
So can you push it down? It looks like it's locking itself into place. Yeah, okay. I'll put it up anyway, just in case. Um, where will I screw go? There we are. I keep all them. Um, if I can, I'll follow by on this next bit. I'm not sure I do it yet, so if not, just bear with me, I'll skip on. Walk, mate. Why's that screw not coming out? Why is, this, why is this not going out? Oh God! Job done. Right, hinges off, screws out. So I'll put the collar on, as you can see, put the lid on, just kind of lined it up by sight. Um, not the slightest bit of wobble, which is fucking superb. Um, I was expecting it to come out like a fucking banana, knowing my look, and it's sort of wobbling all over the place, but absolutely spot on. You can kind of see here. And it's the same all the way around. It is just super, super level. Um, it's making a, a superb seal. Um, and I did get some weather stripping, so some foam tape, uh, just in case. You know, it's not come yet, and I'm probably still going to use it uh, just to kind of cover up the uh, the foil tape that I've done inside. I mean, you can't actually see it at the minute, but uh, when you open it, it's going to look a bit of a mess. So I'm still going to use it. Um, now it's three mil thick. Um, but here, if I just put the holes in, um, kind of where the screws were previously, so they were like kind of right at the top of the, you know, it's like one of these like holes, um, so you, you know, you kind of adjust it up and down. So if I put the screw in right at the top, I need to raise it three mil, and I can, so it's easy, easily done. Um, so just mark the holes quickly, and then I'll get to work putting the holes in. Right, so I was going to drill pilot holes, but I mean, they're only fairly small screws, so I'm just going to use some muscle power. <sighs> Brad all, holes, I'm going to do that, and I'll be back in a minute. Right, so the hinges have been screwed onto the collar, um, so obviously the lid is now on the collar. See it in the background there? So I've taken it off because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my sealant all the way around. I'm going to put one thick bead all the way around. Uh, so I've just cut the nozzle on its kind of lowest um, kind of marking. 
we get a nice thick bead and then I'm going to wrestle the collar on top and that's pretty much it I suppose um, it says it takes 24 hours per one and a half millimeter bead for it to dry so I'm going to put it on quite a thick bead but I suppose the weight's going to press it down isn't it so um, I, I assume it's going to be dry within two days at the most um, so antique silicon silicon and gum passed down from generation to generation I'll put it in a museum when I finish this um, yeah should be fairly straightforward when I'm using silicon I usually end up with more on me um, than on whatever I'm trying to silicon but that's usually what I want to use my finger to kind of give me like a bit of smooth edge but I don't need to do that in this case so here we go See, we're supposed to push this out. It is proper glue for Oh, shit. Oh, probably should have checked my work area before I started doing this. I don't want to do it with my right hand. What a puff.
Um, got a bit thin here, so I'll look a bit more. Of. Okay. Oh, nice little screw cap, keep it all nice and uh, moist so it doesn't dry out. So I can use it when I uh, build my next geezer. Right, this is going to be the tricky bit now. Um, picking this thing up single handedly and placing it accurately on top of the freezer. Um, this stuff's going to, just going to splurge everywhere, isn't it? So, I'm just going to have to go for it and tidy it up as I go along, I suppose. Oh, you like this? Oh, the miles out, miles out. Oh, not too bad, actually. Too bad. Taking on at the start. Look at that. So a couple of moves right here. That's it. I thought I was going to be shifting it all, dancing with it. Round it nicely, like that. Oh, lovely. So, let's just get a bit of weight on it. I mean, this wood's well heavy anyway, but um, no point taking chances now, is there? So, let's get it weighed down. That's the result. Um, I'm just going to tidy that little bit up now, get some more weights for that. I think I'll uh, pretty much conclude this leg of the geezer build. I'll wait until it's dried and uh, then we'll crack on. So, until next time, I'll see you.